we used to live on Excalibur at the top of, of that mountain and I would I saw flames and that's the first place I go and, and we've been watching it ever since Monday when it was little bitty so um, I've been going up there until that fire got so bad yesterday that we weren't able to go up there so now we're just waiting it out. Very glad everybody got out they needed to whenever they they had to, even just for their own safety. But it's been non-stop planes, non-stop sirens, and almost felt like being in the middle of a war zone with all the smoke surrounding our little calm area right here in the middle. But that's what's scary. They just started coming by about 30 minutes ago, so we, I knew something happened. And luckily, it looks as though right behind us here. We might have some rain coming towards us. We can feel the drops now, and hopefully it'll all be coming our way again. We've lost about 1,400 structures. Now, many in the media already reported that. Thank you. Uh, what we also believe to be the case, it's not confirmed, that about 500 homes are in that mix. Again, making this one of the most devastating fires uh, in New Mexico's history. We are going to see anywhere from two to 300 additional firefighting personnel. Uh, now, given that we are all challenged by resources and fire season around the country, uh, the clarity here about the risks to people in high living areas, concentrations like Rio Doso, is sufficient to make sure that we've got the right firefighting personnel.